Hi, I'm Rahayu Mahazam. I'm the Parliamentary Secretary of Ministry of Health. I'm also the Deputy Chairman of REACH. This is where I work. Welcome to MOH. How would you describe your job to your son? I would tell my son that mummy helps keep people healthy so that they don't have to see the doctor so often and they can enjoy life with their families. What are some new sectors or developments that have emerged out of the COVID-19 pandemic? Work from home is not a new concept. We've been encouraging people to be flexible with their work arrangements, but it's also important to have the digital technology in place. So the government will have to be encouraging and building on these efforts so that we can do a lot of things online and be able to carry out our functions wherever we are, from home or anywhere else. With the increasing automation, what plans does the government have to support workers in sunset industries? With every sunset industry, there will be sunrise industries. With every change, there will be new developments. And I think the key thing is to make sure that uh, workers are given the necessary skills to change and the employers are also adapting to these developments. Stairs or lift? Stairs, of course, is a good way to keep physically active and one way to count towards your steps for the National Steps Challenge. What was your first part-time job? My first part-time job was at a hotel. I was working with a team that was organising banquets, weddings, events, and I learned a lot of new skills. I think it was the first time I learned how to use a fax machine as well as a photocopying machine. Very interesting experience. As WFH becomes the new normal, how is the government helping workers adapt? This pandemic indeed made people have to try new things and pivot their businesses. So I was very happy to learn that a lot of people got very creative. We saw developments in the R&D sector, in IT, in clean technologies. So one company, Speak and Span, came up with this proprietary antibacterial service cleaning agent and were also employing people with needs. I think this is something to be proud of. What is the best thing about your workplace? I think it's so cool that I work in a historic building. This building was gazetted as a national monument in 2002. How does the government ensure that students have access to internship and job opportunities? The government has been working very hard with many businesses, many companies to ensure internship and job opportunities. There are actually many different types of opportunities out there. I really hope that young people remain open and will be willing to try new things. What's one thing people don't know about you? I used to do open sea diving. I actually got myself an advanced certificate for diving, but I haven't been doing so for many years now. Aside from tackling COVID-19, what are some other key issues the government is working on? Tackling COVID-19 is a massive effort, but the government also remains focused on its long-term priorities, including taking care of the environment, um, taking care of workers, as well as um, ensuring further development of women. So I'm involved in the conversations for women's development, and that's something very meaningful that we're looking into. What are some ways to prepare youths for employment in a post-COVID-19 job market? It's important for youth now to not only just have the skills, but the right values and attitude. They need to be resilient, they need to be able to be willing to try new things, as well as pick themselves up when something goes wrong. So these are things are necessary skills that we need to imbibe our young people with. If you had 1,000 unread emails, which one would you choose to reply to first? I'll reply to the email from my boss. Should the economy restructure itself to accommodate for work from home beyond the COVID-19 situation? During the pandemic, we learned that we could actually do work from home very well. I think employers and employees learned how to adjust. As Singaporeans, we need to understand that the economy will change, the world will change, and it is in our DNA to keep adjusting. How do you maintain a work-life balance? I play multiple roles and it can get quite challenging but I'm fortunate to have the support of my husband and family members and I think what's important is to actually manage time well and prioritise what is important. How has it been balancing motherhood with your career? I take a lot of inspiration from the men and women that I meet, the husbands and wives and fathers and mothers who 
all on the day-to-day -day basis juggle um, things like work as well as taking care of their family members. I think it's something to be proud of and I think we can continue to build a good ecosystem and support system for all caregivers and all the young parents out there. Can you share some of the government's initiatives towards a sustainable economy? The government has been working very closely with educational institutions, non-governmental organisations and businesses to actually create awareness on the importance of sustainability. We're also looking at how to create a green economy, how to reduce carbon emissions and also increase our energy efficiency. Any new skills you've picked up during the circuit breaker? <laughs> I really learned how to bake a bread with my bread maker. But I had problems getting flour and yeast though. I'm sure you face the same problems. How is the government ensuring that every worker remains relevant in a post-COVID-19 world? Even before the pandemic, making sure that our workers are relevant and have necessary skills for the changing economy is a very important thing. So that's why we created SkillsFuture. Actually, now more than ever, it's important to make sure that our workers upgrade and continue to upskill. So there are a lot of training programs that are highly subsidised for different types of jobs at different milestones in all the workers' lives. So I, so I also hope that the workers will continue to avail themselves to these training programs and continue to upgrade themselves. Do working single parents get financial assistance to cushion childcare costs? Yes, of course. I think we are one of the only one of the Asian countries that actually support mothers regardless of whether they're married or not with infant and childcare subsidies. What's the best work-related advice you have received? That we need to actually do our best in whatever we do and that what we do matters because we're part of a team. Our contribution matters to build a good environment for all. What's your favourite song? <laughs> More Than Words by Extreme. I think I've answered all your questions. Thank you for joining me at the office as well as at home. Have a great evening. <laughs>